Greetings everyone. Before I get into the video, I'm just showing off my callaloo from my garden. I'm so happy, you know, this time of year when I get to eat what I grow. Anyway, I want to really ask a question in this video. And for some reason, it's bringing a smile to my face. I remember some years ago, a friend of mine was going through a breakup. And, you know, you know, when things are raw and there's a certain level of bitterness between the couple. And, you know, I remember saying to her, don't worry. One day you will look at this moment and you will laugh about it. And she said, I cannot imagine that. I'm never going to laugh about this. And I'm like, you will. You will laugh about it. In fact, you might actually become friends later on in life. A lot of times when people are going through breakup, whether it's friendship or, you know, in relationship, whether it be marriage or, you know, whatever conjugal situation and things end, a lot of times it ends, you know, very bitterly between people. But I want to ask you, was there ever a time when a uh, relationship or friendship ends and you felt so hurt by the whole thing and you thought that you'd never get over it? Or uh, you were missing your friend so much and you just was so hurt and so caught up by it. And then one day you got up, you neither remember the friend or the hurt. Isn't that wonderful? So when you're having relationships with people and things don't work out, I always try to say to people, it's fresh. And so while it's, it's fresh, you're going to feel these hurt, you know, those heartbreak. You're going to feel this loneliness, especially if you had a deep bond with this person. But give yourself time you will get to the point where you accept it. And in some cases, you have no choice but to accept it because you have to understand that people come in our life and they come in, some people come in for a season. They impart lessons to you and you impart lessons to them. And this great bond and friendship that you have that you thought you could never live without, you can and every time you feel like you're going to fall apart because you lost your best friend or your the love of your life or whatever, remember, if it was a situation where the person was had transcended to another plane without using that D word, you would have no choice but to move along. We literally can live without anybody. Yes, we love people and sometimes they live in our heart forever. But I don't want you to spend another day grieving the loss of a relationship or a friendship. It's not worth it. Especially when the individuals teach you that they know how to live without you. I remember going through some things some years ago and I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness, these persons, I idolize them and I always, you know, behave as if they couldn't live without me, but they knew how to. And when I realized that I had lost these ones, um, and to be honest with you, you, you don't really lose these ones. Sometimes you never had them to begin with. Some of these ones only attach themselves to you because of what you could do for them or who you were to them. You're the one who would offer them counsel. You're the person who they could call any time of the day or night and you would be there. And so when these ones drop you, because somehow you kind of get it in your idea that they needed you and that they loved you. And then when reality set in and you realize these folks didn't need you or didn't love you, you were for a time and for a season. And when they moved on, they forgot about you. That is very difficult to get over. I know especially when you deeply love these ones, but do what you must do to get over it. And don't spend your time obsessing on other people. 
I know we're supposed to love and all of that hairy fairy kind of story. But when you know people who know how to move on, they don't remember you. They don't swallow their pride and call you up and say, hey, girl, I miss you. They moved on. You are replaceable. And if you are someone who is replaceable, you have to then, you know, feel some kind of love for yourself so that you don't always run behind people who don't like you. If you reach out to somebody and the person has no interest in connecting with you, you just have to accept them, accept the situation, wish them all the best. Don't allow bitterness to stop you. That if down the road you see this individual, you can't say hi and, you know, just move along. But let go of the bitterness and love yourself and don't allow that hurt to destroy you or block you from meeting someone else who can be a real friend to you or a real partner to you. Find a way to, to, to heal because sometimes it takes healing. And let me tell you something. A woman can hurt you far more than any man can if you're a female. Because when you have a relationship with women, you know, it's deep. You, you, you exchange stories. You go through all kinds of stuff together. You eat and out of the same pot and you, you bathe it together and all of that. And when that's gone, of course, you know, it can be very hurtful. But respect the time that you had together. Value that period when you were close and when you needed each other. <clears throat> And leave the rest. Just let it go. They moved on. Don't destroy your life over somebody who doesn't want you, who does not miss you. Let them go. Don't attach yourself to people who don't want you in their life. I know that's very difficult to hear, but it's best. And someday, when you look back at that relationship, you might just laugh about the time you spent being angry with these ones. And if it's in an intimate situation, you might not even remember them after a period of time because you find someone else who can give you the love that you deserve. And sometimes people hurt you and you're so devastated. But time passes and when you look back, you can laugh. You literally can laugh. Pull up your shoes and stand up firm and just let it go. Let it go for your sake. It's not worth it. They are not worth it. So take care of yourself and stay blessed.